Speedcafe.com here reporting from Mount Panorama where teams are gearing up for Sunday's Bathurst 12 hour. We spoke to some of the star drivers ahead of the big race. Shane, straight from Daytona to Bathurst, I guess there's no better place to get over the disappointment of what happened to you in the US than somewhere like this. Yeah, definitely. Two pretty cool tracks in, in both weekends. And yeah, definitely the result there wasn't as good at the end, but um, looking forward to making it up for it now. So switching from the Porsche back to the McLaren, you've got a yep. fair bit of experience with these cars, but the Techno team doesn't. How's it going to work here with Techno and McLaren? Yeah, we got um, half our uh, or half the old supercar guys, and then a few McLaren technicians as well. So they'll be assisting and yeah, running the cars with us. So it's going to be interesting to see how it works. It's going to be really cool. The setup's good, and both cars driver lineup. So I think it's going to be great. Going to be great. So uh, looking forward to getting on track. And now that I know the car so much more and know the circuit, I think we'll be pretty speedy. BOP is obviously pretty important for everyone. How do you read where you're at in the field? Oh, you don't really know till the race starts. Everyone. You know, goes in their race mode then and, and plays until until the race. So we'll, we'll just see how we go. Um, it's all about getting Jono comfortable in the car, Alvaro learning the track, and then we'll be okay. And you get to have two cracks at this place every year, obviously the 1000 in October. Just tell us about the difference of driving the Commodore around here compared to the McLaren. Yeah, it's probably just uh, you got so much less power, but you got heaps more grip. So the lap time's quicker in the McLaren by a couple of seconds, but mainly in the race, it's just the traffic. You've got so many different levels of driver and different specs of car. So, you know, there can be 10 seconds difference between guys and GT3 cars. So just being conservative and be keeping the car straight till the end is so important. Mika, welcome back. Obviously last year, very disappointing car crash on Friday. You didn't get a run. You must just be looking forward to getting in the car. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, like you said, last year was not very good for us, but uh, we won it year before, so this is sort of defending our, our championship now. How are you feeling about the chances of this team? Obviously, it's evolved a bit since 14, different drivers and so on. The field's pretty tough. What do you think? Well, so far everything looks good, but uh, you never know. It's, uh, it's a tough race, a lot of competition, really hard competition, so... Uh, it's 12 hours on this track, just first have to survive and then we see where we are, but the uh, car is good. Uh, it's been proven to be a winning car here, so I don't see why not now, but uh, we'll do our best and uh, try to stay out of the trouble. That's the main, main thing and uh, we'll see how far we get. And this team, obviously, you've got a lot of experience around the world from Scuderia Ferrari F1 downwards. How do you rate this crew and the way it's come together? Oh, it's Maranello Motorsport. It's a very professional team. Uh, uh, since I drove with them first year, they even grew up from there. And uh, if you look at the guys now, everybody's really pumped up and uh, guys well prepared. It's a really nicely prepared car and uh, yeah, it's, it's a really great team. Chio san you were the hero of this race last year. Spectacular win in the last couple of laps. Must be a special memory for you to reflect on now 12 months on. I thank you very much. Uh, yes, last year was just so special. Just the last few laps was incredible. And uh, yeah, team also did a really great job last year. So uh, it was an unfor unforgettable moment for me, for me, yes. This is obviously a big effort from Nissan with a factory team. Yes. Is there much interest in the race now in, in Japan? Yes, obviously, I think uh, it's get famous and then the competition of buses is get bigger and bigger and it's get famous in the world. as. As well as in Japan, uh, people know this race very well. Recently, because the Nissan came into this race from 2014, and last year we won the race. It's a very spectacular, you know, uh, the event. Then the, I think it's get really famous in the world. And your chances this year? There's obviously a lot of good cars. Is there any specific rivals you think are going to be the, the main challenges? Yes, I think the Bathurst 12 hours is getting harder and this year it's the most, it's going to be the toughest race ever in Bathurst. I think there are lots of BA supercar drivers and lots of the strong European team coming there. So we will fight for the defending title. So it's going to be hard, but it's a, I hope we can do it again as like as last year. Chris, reigning Australian GT champion and a regular here at the 12 hour. Are you starting to feel like a bit of an Australian by now? Uh, I feel like I'm half Australian already. Um, you know, traveling a lot of times last year, coming here like 10 times a year, and uh, I'm happy to be back for the 12 hour. Uh, we have a strong car, the new Audi, and uh, good teammates with Chris Hart and Marco Mappelli. 
who finished second last year. So uh, I'm quite happy about our lineup, and the team is good as always. So uh, I think we are a strong competitor. You're, of course, a former two-time two winner of this race. What does it take to get it done around here? What are the key factors that are involved? Uh, first of all, you need a lot of luck. Um, you know, you have plenty of safety cars in the past, so um, you need to make the right call at the right time. And then you need a good lineup, a good tyre, a good car, a good team, and most of this we have. So, um, yeah, it just depends on the luck during the race. And you mentioned there as well a new Audi this year. We haven't seen it at Bathurst before. The Audis were a bit outgunned last year. How are you feeling about the car and also the BOP situation? Well, the BOP is always a critical theme. I don't want to be involved in that. So I think that's the job of other people. Um, but basically, the new Audi is a fantastic car, which we have seen already at 24 Nürburgring, Spa, uh, in Dubai, the latest 24-hour win of the new car. So um, I think basically from the car side, we are more than well prepared. Stay tuned to speakcafe.com throughout the weekend for all the news and results from the mountain.